Hello everybody and welcome to Square Balloon Actions and Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use my sunlight overlays and I'm using this image here which um, was taken where the sun was just behind one of these uh, tree branches so we didn't get too much um, haze in the image and we're just going to add that uh, sunburst back in again. So um, let's just say I want to use this one here, Warm Starburst. Um, I just use the move tool to bring it over on top of my image and you can see that it's black all around the edge but we want to set the mode of this one to screen so screen will get rid of all those black, black pixels and just make them transparent and then we can move that around um, to where we think that we might like to have um, that sun so at the moment I have uh, one of the little bursts coming over her here like that if you don't want that you can just rotate the texture and just um, you know, move it around again, um, just to the way you want it. So all of these, be because they've got black around them, they need to be set to screen. You could also set them to color dodge in certain situations, but screen is best just for this particular one. Um, so we'll just have a look at some of the other ones. We have a uh, peach sun, which is just a pale sun. Then we have pale starbursts, and you can see um, what that looks like, it has a few little rays coming out. Um, we have sun rays, longer rays coming down. And all of these um, can also be um, made bigger. So you can just press Control T and stretch them out if you want as well, whichever way you want. And then we have white star burst. burst. That would probably be better for a daytime image. Um, red sun again the colors don't really match up with this particular one so there might that would probably be better on another image um the warm starburst that i just put on there um the pointed starburst has um more defined points coming out and then let me just put on this last one here this is flare um I'll take off the visibility of that so i'm going to bring over flare and you can see the way it is um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that around. Um, I'll double click and I'm going to set it to screen. So you can see where it comes in here and then where the flare is. Now if you want, maybe if your sun is coming over here, of course you can just flip it over. Um, but as I move down, because there isn't black all the way to the borders of this one, you can just put it somewhere and then just directly onto that um, layer, you can just get a black paintbrush at 100% opacity and you can just get rid of that hard line at the edge if you need to. And if you want to get rid of the sun flare there, of course, you can just... So anywhere where you don't want it to be, you can just paint over with black and then that will um, automatically disappear. So there's just a quick overview on how to use my sunlight overlays.